Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, May 11, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to share this video with anybody that you would technically want. So we'll start by looking at the Greenwich Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, when we basically broke this uh, this upper resistance line, we basically shot up to the upside. We can just get rid of this now and uh, our next target will most likely be 1423, which is our previous highs here. If we break that, then yes, we are, we are going to go significantly higher. But expect a pullback before we get to that point as we are significantly outside of the bullish band here. We are overbought. Uh, but other technical indicators are very bullish at this point. So pulling back towards the middle of the bullish band, that's probably where we are going to at this point. So that would be around the 20 expansion moving average at 13.93. So let's look at the US dollar, Japanese yen. Nothing really happened here today. We are down a little bit, 0 0.03 at this current stage. Well, really boring. We're just staying in between the 40 and the 20 exponential moving average. We did rally up towards the 50, got rejected, uh, pulled back, and then we pulled and rallied yet again and then ended up between the 20 and the, and the 40 exponential moving average. We're just above the middle of the bullish Japan. So we have this upper resistance line here that's going to be a massive hurdle to get through. Break below here could open the door to the 100 level, 100 moving average. But if you look at technical indicators, they are all favoring the downside at this point. MACD is crossing the signal line, the RSI is flat, CCI is becoming negative, as the stochastic is negative as well. If we break the middle of the bullish band here, we could drop to where the very bottom, and there's a drop of roughly 1%, or the previous lows here. If you manage to break above here, then we'll most likely target the previous highs of 110, give or take. So let's look at the euro US dollar. So we did rally on Thursday, but on Friday and uh, today, nothing really happened. We broke down a little bit, which was expected. We did break below this um, upper resistance line, but uh, at this current stage, we may fall back towards um, the middle of the bullish band or the 20 exponential moving average here before going higher. If the US dollar continues to depreciate, then this it will be um, positive for this currency pair. If you look at the, the technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish. The RSI is bearish, the CCI is bullish, the stochastic is bullish. So it does favor the upside. And the main reason why we basically pull back here is because we got fairly overstretched here in the bullish band. We did rally significantly from the bottom here, roughly 2.33%. Uh, so a pullback after that should be expected and then continue up towards 1220 so let's do the Aussie dollar, US dollar. And the same goes for this currency pair. We did have three very good days. We rallied yet again today and then broke down, but we found that this previous resistance line is acting as support at this point. If we break below here, then the 20 exponential will most likely be where we'll find the next support level. If you look at technical indicators, they are all fairly bullish. MACD is bullish, the RSI is flat, CCI is bullish, stochastic is bullish, and we got really overstretched here in the bullish band. So pullback towards the middle of the bullish band, roughly 0 0.77. That's most likely where we'll find major support if we drop below that previous resistance line. So let's look at the US dollar, Japanese yen, and we have actually broken through here. Now is this now this is becoming really bad for this currency pair. We are just dropping and drop below this um, this um, previous support line, and that could mean that we'll drop significantly lower. We're getting really overstretched. We're significantly oversold. However, other technical indicators are very bearish indeed. So a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band or the previous highs here, that should be around 12.28. That is probably where we'll rally up towards before going lower. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.